I'm breaking. That would be good. Let's get it. Whoa! Efficiency, I'm breaking, and fortune. Awesome. Awesome. What is up you guys? It's Lala here and welcome back to Adventure Awaits. So as you can see behind me, um, I have built a wall. So I've built a wall sort of around the perimeter of my little area, I suppose. Um, just sort of going around, there's gates intermittently around it. Um, just sort of looking like this. Um, I don't think they're all finished quite a bit like this at the moment, but yeah, this is the sort of basic design of them. Apologies, by the way, if you hear any beeping during this video. Um, my dishwasher is in the background in the next room and is paused so that it's not making horrific noises, but that does mean it beeps occasionally. I promise you, I've picked the better option. <laughs> so basically, yeah, we have this cool little wall going around. It's just... A uh, marble brick wall, um, so I found a massive marble cave. Um, I think I actually have it still in my uh, caves, yes, yeah, it's, it's connected to those caves. And then lots of jacaranda wood from the lavender fields, which are somewhere close. Um, so, yeah, basically that's that. And then this over here is a road that I've built that takes me all the way to spawn. Um, it's quite long, so I'm not going to walk the whole thing now because I've got other things to do. But you get you get the picture. It goes all the way down to spawn. Um, it sort of has to curve a little bit around Sniz's house because I started it a little bit too far this way, and now, yeah, I had to curve around because I didn't want to interrupt his land too much because I wanted to be a considerate neighbour. You know me. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Now we have a pretty secure, lit up way to get to spawn and back, which is nice. We trapped in a load of these lovely wild horses as well, which I'm going to go around and tame all of them eventually. If we go through into my house, you'll see I actually, um, I had a really awesome session with one of the guys on here, his name's Demo. Um, we had an awesome time. We did a big mining session and then, oh, the trees are rubbish. Hold on. Fancy. There we go. Um, so we went on a really big like session, and it was really good fun. Um, and then when he logged off, I uh, went for a little sail around just to sort of see what was around on the map. Um, found a monument um, and managed to collect lots of lovely um, sea crystals, uh, sea lanterns. Sorry. Um, so I've crafted a load of those and just have them around my house, which is awesome. And I well growling. Why growling? Why why growling? Um, yeah, there's a zombie around somewhere, but dead bull should be dealing with that. Maybe it's in the house. I don't know. I'm gonna get away from here because it's quite loud. Um, yeah, so that's quite cool. The house is a little bit more lit up now, which is nice. Um what else have I done? I can show you the sort of stuff that I managed to collect. I managed to get um, quite a bit more iron and gold, I think, since I last saw you. Um, as well as some more diamonds, a lot more lapis, some more redstone, etc. Um, I've been farming pumpkins and cactuses for uh, Halloween because I started my little pumpkin farm over here. This is it, dotted around, so we'll just collect these. There we go. So, oh. so I've been collecting these pumpkins because mm. I want to make jack-o'-lanterns and decorate just around this kind of area and maybe this front little area of my house um, with some jack-o'-lanterns and some other stuff, hopefully from the deco bench. Um, just make it kind of Halloween-y for the month of October. So I'm super excited about that. That's going to be really fun. Um, that's why I've been collecting the cactus as well for green dye. So I should actually go and get this smelted. I think I've got some going already. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I also lost my backpack that I crafted 
in the last episode, which is super annoying. And the worst thing about it is, is not only did I lose the backpack, but I also lost um, the footage of me crafting it, um, which is super annoying. So I had a load of stuff in my backpack, like my uh, the tools I carry with me, my bed, my food, all of that stuff. The bits I carry here, like my seeds, my carrots, my wheat, that's all gone, which is stressful. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what was in there, and I don't want to cheat and just give myself a load of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's very annoying. But, yeah, what are you going to do? So, I need to grab some coal from here. I actually grab some extra as well, so I've got some to craft some torches when necessary. That zombie is really creeping me out. So we'll leave that going. Um, I need everything. So I've got some cactus green. And I've got some red flowers. But we need more red flowers, because yeah, we've got 25 red dye, we're going to have a lot more green, and we've got a lot, lot of blue. So, I'm going to go quickly check the cactus farm. Cool, there is cactus to collect, so let's grab that while we're here. And then just break this so the cactus grows. Because I think that the cactus doesn't grow if these are tall next to it. I have to bring it back down to below it, because the cactus can grow faster. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so I forgot about this. So basically I've built a couple of doors into the back of my house because now I've got some more land behind my house. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to lead to was the fact that my barn is now purely for all of the lovely horses trapped in my land because I've moved my pigs, uh, sorry, my sheep and my cows to over here. And soon they will have a roof and some gates here, but for now they do not. You can see I've been AFKing a lot because these vines have been just growing like crazy. I don't really like them on the wood so much. But they look fine on the stone. So yeah, and then we've got a space over here which is... Is it done yet? No, it's not done yet. So we've got a space over here which is going to be for chickens. I'm going to put a chest and a hopper and stuff down there. And then once that's done, you'll be able to come down here and collect it from here. So then that'll collect up all the arrow, all of the feathers so I can craft arrows and the eggs so I can craft food. So that's cool. Um, as you can see as well, I've sort of... Ooh, was that lightning? Or was that just a loading? No, that's lightning. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I've lit up all the area, so nothing can kill me. I'm using these awesome obsidian pressure plates. Oh, that is another thing that I got while I was mining. Yes. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep up in my bed, and I will be right back. Okay, it is daytime, so I am going to grab some food quickly, and then I will be off to go and find some red flowers. Be right back. We'll collect these, and then we will be done with it. Ooh, what is this? Didn't I find this before? Yeah, I think I did. I'm going to leave it. Right, let's go home. Okay, so there's literally five cactuses left cooking. We've got quite a lot there, though. I think this should be enough. Let's grab some lapis. And just pop those in. Ah, we need clay. Right. I think I have some, but let's go and hunt some more down. Um, not to worry. We've got clay here. Cool. So, pop this in there too. And it opens up. Lovely. <laughs> it's not that much clay, but I will do. So,
so that's awesome. So now we've got our jack o' lanterns, uh, our pumpkins. How do you meet jack o' lanterns? That and a torch. Awesome. Cool. So now we've got 34 jack o' lanterns. That's so cool. These are going to look awesome. But first, as you can see over here, when I went mining with Demo, we collected quite a lot of obsidian. Um, so I've got enough to make myself a nice never portal. And then also some armor. So let's make a chest plate, some boot, uh, trousers even, and the booties. Oh, yes. So then we have enough left to make another portal, which is good. Pop that back. Now that zombie noise really needs to stop. Um, I'm just not about it. So I want to put this armor onto a chest plate. Since it did serve me well. I want to die there, I forgot. There we go. Now I've got my lovely obsidian armor on. So the first thing that I want to do is go and get myself from the market some bottles of enchanting. And also I can show you some cool stuff that's happened there. Okay, good morning. So let's head to spawn and I can show you what's been going on. Let's go. I don't know if you've seen this. This is the arena. It's like a big PvP arena. The demo built. It's kind of terrifying, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's cool. You have to teleport into it because there's no doors. Okay, here we are. We are at spawn. So, what we're going to do is... As you can see, this big area here has been clean, cleared. Um, it took forever, and we're starting to do some terraforming over there. You can see shopping district coming soon. So we installed the vending block mod, um, so the players can build their own shops, and we can sell stuff to each other, which I think will be super cool. Um, so yeah, that will be coming very, very soon, um, which I'm super excited about. I just need some ideas about what I'm going to sell. And to make sure that we have incentive to use each other's shops rather than just these shops, we've put the prices up here. Um, so why did I come here again? Let's get some bottles of enchanting. Cool. In fact, no, let's just let's just buy all of them. And apparently the best way to do this is to throw it at a wall beside you. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do some mining, go breed the animals, um, and gain some XP so that I can go and enchant my brand new armor. Six and a half hours later. Okay, awesome. I think 34 levels should be enough. So if we head up to our enchanting room. Okay, here we are. So here's my potions room. And through here is my enchanting room. That actually probably needs some more torches in it, but it's gone. So let's see what we can Ah oh, my lapis. Okay, cool. So let's see what damage we can do to my sword. Sweeping edge. My pickaxe. I'm breaking. That would be good. Let's get it. Whoa! Efficiency, unbreaking, and fortune. Awesome. Awesome. We have a great pickaxe. I'm very excited. I'm really bummed about that sword. Um, let's try my armor. Inspiration. Hmm. Go for it. And protection three. Nice. Ah, let me go and get some more levels. Okay, so after a lot of mining, we now have enough experience. So let's finish this up and see what we get. Glass protection. And I'm breaking, though. 
leggings from breaking and fire protection nice these are going to be helpful for the nether fire protection and blast protection um and the boots fire protection oh, i want feather falling oh we'll just do it fire protection dirt strider yes i hate walking slowly through water it's the bane of my life um cool well what we will do is try and find obviously books for the stuff that we don't have um, I want to add the mod where you can craft upgrades, um, I think that would be really helpful. Um, but that's going to take some playing around with logistics and things to make that work. But I will do that, eventually. Um, so now we have a fully enchanted armour, let's pop that on. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. But it's not blowing. Like, it's enchanted. What? Why not? Oh, well, whatever. We know it's enchanted. We can see it glowing in there. So, that's super cool. I still didn't do my sword, just because I want something cool. I'm just going to do it. Knock back and smite. Meh. Not awesome. But it'll do for now. We'll craft something a bit better. I don't know. Let's have a little look what kind of swords there are. Ooh, there's a few. So, diamond sword is seven. Golden diamond sword. That looks pretty cool. Ruby sword. Ooh. Muddy sword. And a lucky sword. Cool. So, I think, obviously, we'll aim for the highest one, which will be ruby sword. So, what I want to do before the end of the episode is very briefly pop these jack-o'-lanterns... Jack-o'-lanterns? Blimey, I cannot speak! Um, around. Just... Make it nice and, and Halloween-y in here. Let's pop one in the entrance there. Or we'll pop one on the outside to let everybody know that we are ready for Halloween. Put one there. And one there. Oh, not two. We'll give the doggies one. Pop one by our actual front door. I think I'm going to put some, I want some around my tree, um, maybe I'll replace these stone bricks with them just for now. Ooh, that's fast. Forgot that I, um, upgraded it, let's get rid of some of these vines as well so it doesn't cover it up. Oh, I forget how fast this is. There we go, we've got lots of them anyway so we can afford to use one like that. Just quick, ooh, that's better. See, just takes a little bit of skill, that's all. And final one. Yay. Let's put one either side of our chest room since we come in here a lot. Put one inside for these guys as well. Um, let's go with that bit of glass. Put one there instead of a window. Cute. Oh, we should go and put one over here for Odie. To be honest, actually, I need to... Um, Deadpool's doing some grieving right now. Um, I need to work out, I think I lost some more dogs, uh, when I was with Demo we were having a little play around with Deadpool, and, uh, I think he accidentally maybe attacked a few dogs. Um, I'm not sure. But they've all lost their name tags, which is super annoying. Um, every single animal in my game, apart from my two horses, Tom and Tim, lost their name tags. So, yeah, a little bit frustrating. Look in the deco bench and see what we can find here because I'm pretty sure they have a yeah holidays one. So there's lots of different. Let's get some pumpkin trios to pop around. That's what they got. Gravestones. Yeah, we could do a couple of spider candles. I like that's all the Halloween stuff. Oh no, I saw skull something. Skull candle. Okay, so let's pop a skull candle down. Oh, that's adorable, in a creepy kind of way. And then a spider one over here. <laughs> that is adorable. And then, let's come out here. Can you put them like on top of pumpkins? Oh, that is too cute. But the orange kind of makes it blend in. So let's put a skull candle down. On it. Oh, that's so cute. 
Vines. We don't need vines right now. We need it to be creepy, not cute. And this little spider can go on here. Or not. Apparently there's something in the way. Let's go and put the spider down on on Odie. Since it's Halloween. And that was his favourite time of the year. Or something. Ah, that'll do. Awesome. So now I have a lovely Halloweeny house. I am very excited about. Um, there is actually just one more thing I really wanted to do before we go. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. Probably stupidly long. Um, but I just want to get the crystal chest for the spawner. Um, because it's like full up. The whole double chest is like completely full up. Um, yeah. So let's go put it in the spawner. Hey, here we are. Ugh. I don't think that will ever not happen. It's very annoying. Um, right. Okay, how are we going to do this? This is all just going to burst out. Uh, let me think. Okay, there we go. It's working again. Yeah. Awesome. So now, as you can see, we now have all of this space rather than just the double chest space, which will last us quite a while. But what I did have to do is cheat in some shulker boxes because I've, I've got a lot of bones and, and arrows to take home. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put them away. And I think I'm going to sign out here because we got quite a lot done. Got my obsidian armor created and enchanted. Got my Halloween decorated done and sorted out the chest here. Um, so thanks so much for joining. Um, sorry if this was a longer or shorter video than normal. I can't quite work it out at the moment with all the amount I need to edit out. Um, I hope you're having an awesome day. Remember to leave me a like if you did like it and leave me a comment to let me know what you want to see in future videos. Um, make sure to subscribe. Take care. Bye.